Prince Mark Normoyle. I'm the exec chef uh, here at the RACV City Club. Actually, welcome to my kitchen. Actually, in here at the moment, you can see the boys around the back there just getting ready for lunch service. So it's, um, it's a great pleasure for me to be here with the Great Chefs program. There have been some fantastic chefs uh, part of it over the years. Um, so yeah, it's a pleasure for me to be here and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy your day today. Um, I suppose if you, you talk about the chefs who influenced me, um, I've worked with some great, and even to this day, I still have some great mentors. Um, one of the ones that sticks out is um, a guy who's still around town now, Raymond Capaldi. Uh, he's got his own new restaurant now called Hair and Grace. Um, we worked with Ray at the Sofitel in Melbourne and he's a fantastically talented chef and with a great passion for food. Um, wouldn't cut corners and I really liked that. He taught me a lot. Um, I suppose being here at the RACV, I've had some fantastic opportunities to travel around the world. Been to um, Dubai, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, done food tours, um, had a ball. So. I um, really um, love my job. The food I do here is a mix of what we call modern Melbourne cuisine, I suppose. It's ever evolving and it's always changing. We don't have any set rules or guidelines in Melbourne. Um, fresh produce, we've got some great stuff here in Melbourne. Uh, so I work really hard with my suppliers. Um, if it's a tomato, it's got to be red, it's got to be simple, it's got to be fresh. It doesn't have to be a fancy tomato, it's got to be nice and ripe. Um, we've got some great aged beef products, um, some great stuff around Melbourne. So that's what we try and focus on. Um, being or working in a club which is a private um, private club, so we have a lot of uh, members who come in and um, they really know their food as well. So it's a great place to work, yeah, and I'm going to try and show you some of that today. I think, you know, we have a French background, of course. I work for Alain Ducasse at the Plaza Athene in Paris. You go to streamline, simplify, perfectly done. And that's, I think, what the difficulty is. What's important as well is crockery. I think crockery, uh, crockery is major in visually when you, you get the, the, your desserts or your menu, whatever it is. Uh, that's very important. Before coming to Australia, I worked at the Plaza Athene, and that was basically an amazing experience. Um, really dedicated to the best possible things. Um, in comparison, we have double the staff of what I have now, and we probably do a quarter. We used to do a quarter in production, you know what I mean? In volume. It was really attention to detail. But we had a lot of you know, effort and time to, to, to do research as well. Because all that to research and to finalize the product takes time. You, know? you don't get a, an amazing cake without just putting it in like this. I mean, maybe after a while, good experience, but usually it takes a bit more than, a bit more than work. Um, uh, my background is more shops, uh, pastry shop than restaurants. Basically, restaurant I work in at the Ritz Carlton, Boston, uh, Paris for the, the Bistro and the Tristar, and the restaurant at the RACB club. But because it's organized in a way that we are a pastry production, and they have chef from the ladder, we finish the, 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 the productions. For me, I'm not a chef who really enjoy the service time. You know, like you get, I like consistency from the day, I, from the, the time I arrive at work to I finish, you know, I'll, you know, that's the personal preference. Ch tempering chocolate, doing chocolate work is a skill, and if you can do your garnishes, you can be consistent, you demarc yourself from the competition. Not so many shops will use a lot of chocolate garnish or whatever. Again, not overkill a cake with so much chocolate. You know, I mean, nothing wrong with that, but like if you go to Axon Street or, or Lydon Street, you know, there'll be a lot of chocolate, a lot of rosette, piping, and never see that with me because uh, yeah I've done it before in 10 years plus and there's no way I want to go that direction That's, you know. our work experience program has been fantastic here where we give uh, around about 50 work experience um, students the opportunity to come to our kitchen for a week and um, the leading student out of that um, actually gets a job the next year. We rate the kids, we bring them in for a um, big uh, cocktail party at the end of the year. And I'll give you a chopping board. And yeah, the guy who's um, 
got the best, um, not so much skills, but the best attitude. Um, we offer them a job the next year. It's been great. And um, young guys like these two here, um, they're really the future of our industry. And um, I think all these shows like Master Chef and all these things, it's great for cooking because these young guys see it and they want to be chefs now. So what's really important is when we have these guys here, let I me mean, look, that's amazing. These guys have been in the kitchen for two days and they're doing it as, as good as me. So. Um, what we're really looking for is, um, it's all about attitude. We're not looking for skill, we're not looking for someone who knows everything about food. As long as they can show a bit of, um, you know, a bit of basic, tiny skills, nice, but their attitude is their biggest asset. That's what we're looking for. Nice, all right, stay there. Good work, guys. I want to thank the guys, they've done a great job. Man, I think actually their beef looks better than mine, so. <laughs> well done, girls, thank you.